Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is the part of my compilation in this October. So kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, tap mo na yung subscribe and notification bell para lagi kang ma-notify. Tsaka kung gusto mo din malaman kung matatapos kong October sa taong ito, watch na! Hi hi, so we need to sanitize our place first. The next thing that we need to do is to ready our materials, our uni pins, ball pens or pencils, sketchbooks, telecolored pencil, touch cool pen markers, stabilos or highlighters, and masking tape. So now it's our day 14 which is armor. Joke lang arte, armor. So let's go open it. So our today's topic is armor. Ano nga bang armor? So an armor is a protective covering that is used to prevent damage from being inflicted to an object. It is usually used during combat. So ayun kapag tapos ka na ng mag-sketch na napili mong subject, it's time for lining it. So ang ginamit kong pagla-line dito is 0.1 Unipin para mas malabo lang ang konti. For darker areas, as always, I use a pencil pen. So my subject in here is a stormtrooper from the movie Star Wars. Ang ginawa ko dito is helmet siya ng stormtrooper tapos nilagyan ko siya ng scene within the helmet. Okay, okay. So with the use of red gel pen, I colored that part. I also used orange marker. Just continue detailing your drawing. I also used my pencil for some shadings and makeup brush. Using 0.3 uni pin for other details. So feel free to do different designs on your drawings like that. Uh, I ginawa ko siyang tulo-tulo na drawing. Then use white gel pen for dotting. So for other design, I use triangle for lining. And I colored a lot of spaces with red gel pen. And don't you ever ever forget to sign your work. Here are some close-up details. And charon. Oh, sayo sayo. Tapos na tayo sa day 14. Okay, okay. We're already now at day 15 which is outpost. So be ready. So our topic for today is outpost. Ano nga bang meaning ng outpost? Outpost is a military camp or position at some distance from the main force. It is used specially as a guard against surprise attack. So yeah, if you're done with your sketching, you can use your unipin for line sketching. Just continue detailing your sketches. So my chosen subject in here is Hawk Mama from Seven Deadly Sin with the boar hat in her head. That boar hat is a bar founded by Meliodas to collect some information about Holy Knights. So yeah, just continue coloring your artwork. Then I put the word outpost in her chain. Add some highlights. It's time for coloring the boar hat. In here, you can use different markers or colored pencils. It's now time for detailing the roof of the boar hat.
After that, I decided to color the background with pale baby blue. And don't forget to put some mark on your work, like signing on it. Here are some close-up details. And tada! Day 15 is done. And your outpost is done. See, you can also do it. So we are now in day 16, which is Rocket. Let's go! So our topic for today is about Rocket. Ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng Rocket? So here's the definition of Rocket. It is a cylindrical projectile that can be propelled to a great height or distance by the combustion of its content. Once na nakapili ka na ng subject mo para sa topic na ito, you can now use your Unipin for detailing. So one of my subject in here is Rocket Raccoon which is from the movie Guardians of the Galaxy and the movie Avengers Endgame. So as you can see sa mga shadings, para lang ako nag-check pag sinishade yung kanyang pinaka mga balahib. With the mini rocket sa tabi niya. I also include the team rocket. Just continue lining your sketches. And now it's time for coloring. For their skin tone, I use Brut Pink. So yeah, just continue coloring according to your reference. When it comes to coloring, kahit ano namang coloring materials na meron ka, is ox na. Now, it's time for putting the credits on your work. Sign it. And here it comes, the close-up details. And now, we're done with the rocket. So, ayan. Done. Hi! So we are now in day 17 which is storm. So ayan, sasabak na ulit tayo. So our today's topic is about storm. So what now is the meaning of storm? Storm is a violent disturbance of the atmosphere with strong winds and usually rain, thunder, lightning, or snow. So what I made in here is I just scribble yeah, just curly shadings like that. In here, you are like playing with your pen but still with control. Just continue scribbling. For lighter parts, medyo gaano mo lang yung pag-scribble. Tapos doon sa mga darker parts, patunga mo lang ng patunga ng mga curly na scribbling. For other dramatic design, yeah, put red gel pen on that part. This October, I made this for those people who overthinks a lot of time. So yeah, this is for all of you. So here's the close-up detail. So there are things that I made in here like the waves in her head, the sailboat, and the storm in inside her head. Those things place deeper meaning in this artwork. The saddest part of overthinking is creating your own storm in your head. But still in the end of the day, don't let your boat sink. Okay, let's move on. We are now in day 18, which is trap. So our today's topic is about trap. Ano nga ang meaning ng trap? So trap means it is a situation in which people lie in wait to make a surprise attack. So what I made in here is a conversation between me and my bestie. So yun, mag-drawing ka lang na parang nasa conversation. At first, saying to my bestie that I have a problem, then she replied a voice message and saying that, want to hear something good? 
Let's see kung matutuwa nga ba ako. Yan, kulayin nyo muna yung pinaka conversation. Kahit ito man lang ang makulayan, diba? Since she's my BFF for a long period of time, and I trust her, but still I have trust issue, I will use an earphone because I know it's a trap. Sa pagpat at kapwa, subalit po kung itong sisira sa aking kinabukasan at dangal at bigla na lang may tutunog na hindi inaasahan. Kaya dapat laging safety first. Day 18, which is trap, done. Diba? Easy, busy. Ano pang iniintay mo? Pakulay ka na ng mundo. Brought to you by trap. Bawal ang mag-trap. We are now in day 19, which is dizzy. Konting kembat na lang. So, what's the meaning of dizzy nga ba? So, dizzy means having or involving a sensation of spinning around and losing one's balance. Makahelo hello girl. So, the first thing that you need to do is draw or sketch your chosen subject. After that, you can now line your sketches using your unipin. So what I made in here is a grumpy cut inside the bottle beer. Then start coloring it using your touch school markers or your color pencil. Then start coloring the eyes and uh, then the bottle beer. And after that, ikaw nang bahala sa mga kulay na ilalagay mo sa kanyang backgrounds. O yan, patong lang ng patong. And we're done. Here are some close-up details. So, ikaw nang bahala kung gusto mo ilagay na illusions. Pwede rin yung magmukhang abstract if you want. In the end of your artwork, natapos mo na siya. Mm -hmm. Lasing na si Kitty Kitty. Let's go party party! Let's go! So, we are now in the last part of this vlog which is the day 20 which is coral. So in this part, we're going to make different ideas that is related to coral. But first, we need to know what is the meaning of coral. So coral means a hard stony substance secreted by certain marine as an external skeleton typically forming large rifts in warm seas. So what I made in here is a curly woman and I turned her hair into different kinds of corals. Just continue putting different kinds of coral in her hair and you are free to do whatever you want. Thank you.
The drawing that I made in here is emphasizing the beauty of a curly woman. A beauty that is deeper than the sea. And again, it's time for signing your masterpiece. Here are some close-up details. And we're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this Inktober that I made. Uh, see you on my next and future vlogs. Bye. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless.